In this video, I'm going to classify the following differential equations as linear or nonlinear. So, to classify those, I'll start by looking at the following information. A differential equation is said to be linear if it satisfies two conditions. Number one, there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives. Number two, the dependent variable or its derivatives do not occur to any power other than the first power. So if we are looking at uh, the differential equation that we are having here, it has a y prime. We are differentiating y with respect to an independent variable. So our y there is the dependent variable. And on this part here, we are seeing that uh, the y, which is the dependent variable, is raised to a power 2. Therefore, it violates condition number 2 there. And if one of the conditions is violated, then the differential equation is nonlinear. I will now move on to the second one there, where we have y multiplied by y prime prime plus y prime is equals to sine x. In this case, we are seeing that the y there is the dependent variable, and we are seeing that there is a product of the dependent variable and its derivatives. On this part here, we are multiplying the y by a y prime prime, the dependent variable and its second derivative. Therefore, it violates condition number one there. So we conclude that the differential equation is nonlinear. As long as one of the two is violated, then the differential equation is nonlinear. I move on to the third one, where we are having the differential equation sine x multiplied by y prime 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 minus cosine x multiplied by y prime is equals to 2. In this case, we see that there are no products of the dependent variable in these derivatives. So condition 1 is satisfied there. And the dependent variable or its derivatives do not work here to any power other than the first power. We are having the second condition there is guaranteed. We therefore conclude the differential equation is linear. It has satisfied those two conditions. I now move on to the third one where we have a t minus 1 squared multiplied by the third derivative of uh, y with respect to t to the power 4 minus the second derivative of y with respect to t to the power 7 plus y is equals to t multiplied by exponent of t. We see that there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives. So condition number 1 there is satisfied. But if we then look at the second condition there, the dependent variable or its derivatives do not work here to any power other than the first power. What we are seeing there is uh, our dependent variable, the y, and its derivatives. We are seeing the derivative of the y there is raised to the power 4. The second derivative of y there is raised to the power 7. So it's violating condition number 2 there. Therefore, we conclude that it's non-linear. I now go on to the next equation we are having. A partial differential equation because you are having partial derivatives the second partial derivative of u with respect to t plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to x in this case what we are having there is u is a function of two variables t and x but we see that there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives because our dependent variable is the u the independent one are the t and the x so it's satisfying condition number one there. And we also see that the dependent variable or its derivatives do not okay to any power other than the first power. So it's satisfying the second condition there. So what you're having there is a linear partial differential equation. I now move on to the next one, where you're having the derivative of y with respect to x plus x times y is equals to sine of x. In this case, we see that there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives. So it's satisfying first condition there. And we also see that the dependent variable or its derivatives do not occur to any power other than the first power. So the second condition there is satisfied. What's what we are having there? Our dependent variable is the y. So it's satisfying those two conditions. Therefore, it's linear. I now go on to the next equation. We are having x multiplied by the third derivative of y with respect to x minus the derivative of y with respect to x to the power 4 plus y is equals to 0. Our dependent variable is the y there. We see that there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives. Condition 1 is satisfied. 
But if you look at um, the dependent variable or its derivatives we are having here, this is a derivative of the dependent variable. It's raised to a power 4. Therefore, it's, it's violating condition number 2 there, which says that the dependent variable or its derivatives do not occur to any power other than the first power. In this case, we're having the derivative of the dependent variable is occurring to the power 4, which violates condition number 2. Therefore, that differential equation is nonlinear.